a NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. And some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. The alert went out across every major observatory. Turn your eyes to the ecliptic plane. An interstellar object, 3I Atlas, was defying all expectations. Initial tracking data showed it was speeding up, but not in a way that made any sense. It was a ghost in the machine of our solar system. So the James Webb Space Telescope was given a single urgent task. Find out what this thing is. The infrared images are now back and they don't show rock or ice. They show a plume of superheated gas, a bizarre chemical composition, and a pattern of acceleration that looks eerily engineered. An impossible image. Something truly bizarre is happening out there in the cold, dark vacuum of space. You see, for years, we've been finding rocks and ice that wander between the stars. But we've never seen anything like 3i Atlas. Discovered on the 1st of July, 2025, this object immediately set off alarms. It wasn't just its speed, a mind-bending 130,000 miles per hour, or its path, which was perfectly aligned with the planets in our solar system. The real mystery was that it was accelerating. It was getting a tiny but constant push. And the thing is, nobody could figure out why. Comets get a push from the sun when ice turns to gas and shoots out, like a steam kettle. But that gas always points away from the sun. The plume from 3i Atlas was different. It pointed towards the sun. This detail breaks all the known rules of cometary physics. It was like seeing a boat's wake appearing in front of it. This puzzle was so intense that astronomers did something unprecedented. They aimed the most powerful observational tool ever created, the James Webb Space Telescope, directly at this anomaly. The Webb Telescope is special. It doesn't see light like our eyes do. It sees in infrared. It sees heat. This allows it to peer through dust and gas to see the hidden truth of what things are made of. And the truth it revealed about three-odd Atlas is a genuine jaw-dropper. The first images came back and they didn't show the typical fuzzy glow of a normal comet. Instead, Webb saw a tight, focused plume, a jet. And when the scientists analyzed the chemical signature of that jet, they found something that has no business being in a comet. The data was undeniable. The gas shooting out of 3i Atlas was composed of a ratio of eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water. In our solar system, that number is flipped. Our comets are watery snowballs, dirty and icy. This thing was made of almost pure carbon dioxide, the same stuff that makes soda fizzy. This chemical makeup is a one in a million rarity, a true alien composition but that wasn't even the most shocking discovery. Hidden within that plume, Webb's sensitive instruments detected something else, a heavy metal that shouldn't be there, atomic nickel. And crucially, there was no iron alongside it. In nature, when you find nickel, you almost always find iron. They're cosmic brothers born together in the hearts of dying stars. To find pure nickel vapor shooting out of a cold object far from the sun? That's not natural. Many people are crazy about the idea that this points to something manufactured. What Webb saw has sent shockwaves through the scientific world, forcing a terrifying question. Not a random wanderer. To understand just how strange 3i Atlas truly is, we need to talk about where it came from, the interstellar deep. This is only the third time in history we have ever confirmed an object from another star system has entered our own. The first was the famous Oumuamua, a cigar-shaped mystery rock that also accelerated without a visible tail, sparking wild theories about alien probes. The second was Borisov, which looked and acted more like a regular comet. But 3i Atlas makes Oumuamua look tame by comparison. The thing nobody tells you is just how perfect its arrival was. 
The statistical probability of its trajectory is so low it's almost zero. Think about it. Space is vast, a three-dimensional ocean of emptiness. For a random object to enter our solar system on a path that is tilted just five degrees from the orbital plane of Earth is wildly improbable. It's like throwing a dart from a mile away and hitting not just the dartboard, but the dead center bullseye. But the coincidences don't stop there. As it journeyed inward, 3i Atlas performed what looks like a grand tour of our outer planets. Its path brought it into close alignment with Jupiter, then Mars, then Venus. It was a cosmic billiard shot of unbelievable precision. For a piece of random interstellar debris, this is beyond a fluke. It's a statistical impossibility. This perfect alignment has led some to question if its path was random at all. If you wanted to send a probe to study our solar system, this is the exact fuel-efficient path you would design. It uses the gravity of our planets to steer and adjust its course. This object is enormous, too. Early estimates suggest it could be as large as 28 miles in diameter. That's nearly a million times more massive than the last interstellar visitor, Borisov. If objects this big were common, our sky should be filled with them. We should have seen hundreds of smaller interstellar comets before one of this size showed up. But we haven't. This is the first of its kind. Its sheer size, combined with its impossible trajectory and strange acceleration, paints a picture that is deeply unsettling. It's not behaving like a dead piece of rock. It's behaving like it knows where it's going. But the path was just the beginning. The real anomaly is the engine driving it, breaking the laws of physics. Let's talk about that push, that strange acceleration that started this whole mystery. When astronomers first clocked it, the force was tiny, about four times 10 to the negative seven meters per second squared. That's an incredibly small number, a push so gentle you would never feel it. But it was constant and it was pointed directly at the sun. This is what scientists call a non-gravitational force. It's a push that doesn't come from the pull of a planet or a star. In comets, this force is always caused by outgassing. The sun heats the ice, the ice turns to gas, and it shoots out, pushing the comet in the opposite direction. Simple action reaction. But 3i Atlas turned this rule on its head. Its push was sunward. To achieve that without gassing, the jet would have to be on the side of the comet facing away from the sun, the cold side, which makes no sense. This is where the James Webb data becomes so crucial. The discovery of atomic nickel without iron is the smoking gun for many researchers. The process to separate nickel from iron is an industrial one. We do it here on Earth. One common method is the Mon process, which uses carbon monoxide to separate and purify nickel. And what else did Webb detect in the plume besides the overwhelming amount of carbon dioxide? A familiar ratio of carbon monoxide. The pieces start to fit together in a very disturbing way. This has led to a radical theory. Some scientists are now comparing the plume of 3i Atlas to the exhaust of an ion thruster. An ion drive is a real technology we use on our own spacecraft. It works by taking a noble gas like xenon, using electricity to charge the atoms, turning them into ions, and then accelerating them out the back with powerful magnetic fields. It produces a very low thrust, just a gentle constant push, but it can do it for years. The exhaust is a narrow, focused beam of ionized particles. It looks to an infrared telescope a lot like the plume Webb saw coming from 3i Atlas. That sunward acceleration could be explained if the object was actively thrusting to slow itself down as it approached the sun, perhaps to enter a stable orbit. This isn't just a comet. The evidence suggests it could be an interstellar vehicle talking to the void. So what does all this mean? 
We have an object from another star, 28 miles wide, on a seemingly impossible trajectory, pushing itself with a mysterious force. Its exhaust contains the chemical signature of what could be an industrial process, looking eerily like the output of an ion drive. It's easy to let our imaginations run wild, but we have to be grounded. The thing is, this is what the data shows. These aren't wild guesses. These are measurements from the most advanced telescope humanity has ever built. We are now in a position where the natural explanation that this is a comet requires us to accept a whole list of one in a billion chances all happening at once. The artificial explanation that this is a probe or vehicle of some kind only requires us to accept one thing, that we are not alone. But even calling it a probe might be far too simple. The data opens the door to possibilities that are grander, more complex, and in some cases far more concerning. You see, a simple probe is for observing, but what if the purpose of 3i Atlas isn't just to look? Think about its colossal size, 28 miles across. That's bigger than the asteroid that changed the course of life on Earth. Why would you build a simple robotic probe that big? One theory that fits the scale is the ARC hypothesis. What if this isn't a scout ship, but a lifeboat, a generation ship? Imagine a civilization facing the end of their world, their star dying, their planet growing cold. What would they do? They might build a hollowed out world, an artificial planetoid, and set their entire population adrift in the cold sleep of hibernation, sent on a journey across thousands of years to the nearest star with a promising looking planet. The constant low level thrust wouldn't be for exploration, but for deceleration, a multi-generational braking maneuver to slow down just enough to be captured by our sun's gravity. We might not be looking at a piece of technology. We could be looking at a city of ghosts waiting for a new home. Then there's an even more proactive theory. The thing nobody tells you about that strange chemical signature the massive amount of carbon dioxide is that it's a primary ingredient for planetary engineering or terraforming. What if 3i Atlas is a kind of cosmic gardener? Its perfect grand tour trajectory swinging past Mars and then Venus could be intentional. It might not be sightseeing, it could be seeding, releasing carefully balanced compounds to kickstart an atmosphere on a dead world. The pure nickel in its exhaust might be a catalyst for this process, a vital ingredient we don't understand yet. In this scenario, humanity isn't the target. We're just the current residents of a solar system that's been scheduled for renovation. On the flip side, what if we are the target? There's a long-standing scientific concept called a Bracewell probe. The idea is that an advanced civilization wouldn't waste time sending living beings across the void. Instead, they'd send a hyper-intelligent autonomous robot and have it wait. It would find a promising solar system, enter a dormant state, and lurk for millions of years. Its only job would be to wait for the dominant species on one of those planets to become technologically advanced enough to be noticed to start broadcasting radio waves, for instance. And once it detected those signals, it would wake up. It would move from its hiding place to initiate first contact. The acceleration of 3i Atlas could be that awakening, an ancient watcher finally making its move now that we've advertised our existence to the cosmos. But not all theories are so hopeful. Many people are crazy about the idea of friendly contact but the universe doesn't guarantee good intentions. What if 3i Atlas is an automated resource extractor, a massive interstellar mining vessel? Its goal wouldn't be life, but minerals. Our solar system is rich in heavy metals and rare elements, especially in the asteroid belt. Its trajectory could be the most fuel efficient path to that treasure trove. Its engine isn't for us, it's for maneuvering between asteroids, and we are nothing more than ants on a hill next to a planned construction site. 
It is completely indifferent to us, and that might be the most terrifying possibility of all. Is it possible that all this happens overnight? Could a natural process we have never seen before be responsible for everything we're observing? Yes, the universe is a big place, full of wonders we are yet to discover. Perhaps there are comets made of solid carbon dioxide that produce pure nickel vapor. The journey of 3i Atlas is just beginning. What do you think it is? A natural wonder that breaks all the rules or something else entirely? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to stay on top of this incredible story, be sure to like this video and subscribe.